Congressman Leonard Lance of New Jersey, one of 20 House Republicans who represents a district that actually was won by Hillary Clinton. Congressman, what do you make of this fact that we have a special counsel now investigating the president? What do you make of that? What is that? Uh, I, I think it's a good idea, and I support the appointment of, of the special counsel, and I'm sure that Mr. Mueller will do an excellent job. As Susan Page has indicated, this will take some time, Chris. I don't think this is going to be a matter that will be a couple months. I think it will take a good deal of time. Well, the president has told his supporters, at least, that it's a witch hunt. What, it, what impact will that have among people in America watching this investigation? Uh, I don't think it's a witch hunt. I do believe the president uh, should defend himself, and I'm sure he will. And I don't know of any president who really likes the appointment of a special counsel or a, a special prosecutor. But I think it was appropriate, and I'm sure that uh, Mr. Mueller will lead the situation to its conclusion based upon the facts. What do you think the fact is about how the decision was made to fire James Comey as FBI director? What can you see through both the comments that are coming into the newspapers today from Comey's associates that he took very careful notes about what he had discussed with the president, how the president pushed him to end the investigation of Mr. Flynn, his national security advisor? Do you believe him or do you believe the president? Uh, I, I want uh, Mr. Comey, Director Comey, to come before us here in Congress. I hope he does so in open testimony next week so we can get to the bottom of that. I will be involved in the classified briefing tomorrow with the Deputy Attorney General. I, uh, that was for the Senate today, but let the facts determine uh, that situation. You know, I think the possible good news, the light at the end of the tunnel, is that, as you say, uh, you know, Mr. Mueller's going to take over this investigation. He's going to go somewhere, hire a lot of lawyers, you know, organize an office, put it all together. You know how long it takes. And that's going to possibly drain some of the uh, anger from the Hill and focus. Do you think this is a good sign for getting legislation now focused on, like, tax reform? Uh, absolutely. And uh, as you know, Chris, better than anybody, we work through the committee structure here and yeah. Ways and Means should be working on tax reform and T&I on an infrastructure bill and we on the Commerce Committee on health care reform. And, and we're able to do those matters while the intelligence committees here on the Hill can deal with this issue as Mr. Mueller will be dealing with this issue. But I want to get to the business of the American people. It includes tax reform and and an infrastructure bill. Yeah, because I believe, I think I learned this from African Queen, the Humphrey Bogart movie, <laughs> that the boat can't be steered unless the engine's working. And if the congressional engine isn't working, this country's not getting led anywhere. Thank you so much for coming on U.S. Congressman Leonard Lance of New Jersey. Up next.